Hello. In this video, I'm going to share about how to install Pi-hole. Pi-hole is a network-wide advertisement blocker. And for the installation, I will be using Raspberry Pi 3. So let's open the Pi-hole project website, which is pi-hole.net. This is pi hole, a black hole for internet advertisements. Before we move on to the installation, let's have a look on the current status of advertisement blocker. So I don't, I'm not using any plugin or any kind of advertisement blocker right now. So. So this test URL should show too many advertisements, which is expected. For example, first one is here, second one is here, and this one is a third party site was specially designed designed to test by whole ads ads. Here it is. No ad blocking detected. We will come back to this testing again post the post installation of Pi Hole. So here it says network wide ad blocking via your own Linux hardware. Pi Hole can be installed in Fedora, Debian, Ubuntu, CentOS, and many other distributions. Let me show you what all operating systems are supported installation here installation supported operating system are Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS and Raspbian so I will be using Raspbian for this installation although it can be installed on any of the PC any any machine which is running Debian or Ubuntu or Fedora CentOS. I'm using Pi Pi Raspberry Pi because it is quite compact and it can handle a small number of number of devices which I have on my network home network. So that is the reason I'm using Raspberry Pi for this pie hole installation how to install pie hole it is quite simple run we have to run simple one command one line command let me just show you that command yes uh, look at this no client side software required once it is installed this pie hole we don't require any other client-side software to block advertisements. So let's log into the Raspberry Pi. Become root with a sudo su command. Let's copy this particular curl command, this complete line to do the installation. And once we execute this, it should run the installer over the network and automatically take care of take care of all of for take care of all the dependency let's move ahead with the installation it should not take much time 3 to 4 minutes maximum it depends on the network bandwidth which you have 
right now dependency checks are going on oh, after the dependency check it is doing the installation of missing dependencies automatically so yes it requires our device to be on the network before we can do the installation over the network so yes pi hole automated installer this installer will transform or you transform your device into a network wide add blocker hit ok obviously this is what i uh, what is our requirement is it's a free and open source and if you want you can make a donation to the project on this http colon forward slash forward slash pi hyphen old dot net slash donate we should it is recommended to use static IP address on the pi hole the pi hole is a server so it needs a static IP address to function properly in the next section you can choose to use current, your current network settings DSCP or manually added them hit ok choose an interface press space to select so I have two interfaces available on Raspberry Pi. One is ETS0 and second is WLAN for Wi-Fi network. So I will be using ETS0. Hit OK. Select the upstream DNS provider. There are multiple upstream DNS providers available. You can go ahead, select whatever which you want to use or simply you can use default one also hit ok pi hole relies on third party list in order to block ads you can use suggestions below so let's keep it default tab key hit ok Select protocols. I'm not using IPv6, so I will I will just disable it and continue with the IPv4. To select or deselect, we have to press spacebar. Hit OK. Do you want to use your current network settings as a static address? Yes. I'm okay with this particular IP address. So gateway is looking correct, IP address is also fine. So press tab key and select yes. It is possible for possible the router could still try to assign this IP to a device which would cause a conflict, but in most cases the router is smart enough to not to do that. It okay do you wish to install the web admin interface yes do you wish to install the web server light tpd yes do you want to log queries you can by default it is set to on if you want you can disable it also now it is moving ahead with the pulling source code source installations and moving ahead with the installation of packages While this installation is going on, let me show you router configuration also. 
So log into your router, web interface, and go to the network setup. In my case, I am using DDWRT, so I have these kind these kind of options are available. The main thing is we have to get into the network setup section. Here you can see local DNS is set to 8.8.8.8. .8 we have to replace it with the Pi-hole IP address, which is 10.1.10.13 in my case. Use whatever IP address you have you have defined a static IP address you have used on Pi Hole device in your in your network. Same thing for the DSCP also. Replace static DNS one with 10.1.10.13, which is the IP address of my Pi Hole for my network, and then simply apply settings.